If a capacitor is fundamentally two plates that come in close contact but never touch each other, but could have electrons accumulate on one side and not be able to come across the other side, then we could say that these posts over here are actually a capacitor, but they're so far away and have so little uh, surface area that they're immeasurable. And if we look at the meter as it's set up right now, I have it on the lowest setting of uh, uh, the 100 picofarad, and you will see that the, the grid dip is zero. This is, this is the lowest theoretical value of this meter. And you can see I've, I've hung the wires in such a way that they don't come close to each other. And I've done this because if I were to have these wires come within proximity of each other, over a distance, it would become a capacitor because we would have a wire within proximity would be like two plates and the longer the distance was would be the increase in surface area. Uh, you, this would not be exhibited as microfarads or, or you know, even as in, you know, thousands of, of microfarad or hundreds of microfarad, but in picofarad, you can see this happen. I'll, I'll pull this down. And what we're watching is this circuit become detuned, right? It's no longer uh, tuned at zero. And I'll stick this by here. And this is a very terrible capacitor, but effective nonetheless, right? So what do we have to do to tune this? Uh, obviously, we're going to have to increase the capacitance, right? We're going to see it. Oh, we, we lost it, but we'll get it. And just by doing that, We can see that right there, the circuit is two picofarads of capacitance. There's these two wires uh, just sitting there laying on, on the ground have two picofarads of capacitance. It is a passive component at this point if it were connected to a circuit exactly as it lays. Because if I were to do other things to it, I if I were to have them in, in, in a closer proximity, like if I were in the only way I could consider doing this, you know, as, as I could think about it with one hand is to just sort of, you know, twist them together so that they're closer to each other. I don't know if it's going to disconnect from the top, but I'll do my best. All right, so I'm twisting them. It's important that the, the bottoms don't touch. We don't want it to short circuit because if it does, it won't be a capacitor anymore. It'll just be a, a, a short, right? But now they're, they're, they're twisted. So, the, so now they're in closer proximity, and I want to tune this circuit, right? Looks about right there. And what do we see? We see that now this wire is now a capacitor, is a passive component. And we're looking at about 16 picofarads. So this is a 16 picofarad capacitor that we're seeing here. And I'm sure if I rolled it up a little bit more, if I turned it, as a matter of fact, I'm going to turn down the sensitivity so I don't peg the meter. I'm going to disconnect the, the black one here and see if I could just twist this on this one just a couple more times. Just like that. Just to shore up that last bit of space, I'm going to turn up the sensitivity. And obviously the circuit detuned as a result. Let's see if I can tune it in. You can't expect it to get a, a null with the sensitivity. What you're looking for is the, the greatest dip right there. And I think we got 19 picofarads of capacitance just by taking these wires and and twisting them on themselves. So by, by really adjusting this meter down to the picofarad level, you could see how we have created this passive component. We've created this capacitor um, and demonstrated uh, how to increase the capacitance by number one, uh, uh, surface area, which is the length of the wires themselves, increases the capacitance, and two would be the proximity of the wire um, from from one, from one wire to the other, getting them as close as possible to each other. Uh, and and mind you, this is all done as effectively as, as I can do it with one hand, right? So 
there's only so much I can do, you know, trying to do this and and uh, um, turn the knobs and hold the camera and do all those other things. Let's see if I could just get one last turn out of this. Well, yep. So on the very last turn, ended up with. 22 picofarad, so I twisted as much as I could get it, ended up with a homemade, uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, 22 picofarad capacitor just made out of the two test leads. should also point out uh, another thing about this. This is also why it's important when you're doing capacitive measure measurements, uh, for instance with like a, a decade condenser box, that when, when you're uh, connecting leads to something like this, that you also make sure, first of all, that you check uh, if you have any uh, capacitance in your leads if you're doing very specific measurements. Because I know that on, on my leads, when they were sitting side by side from each other, as, as it turned out, uh, um, just laying down parallel to each other, I ended up with like two picofarads. It wasn't really important for what I was measuring, you know, because I was measuring in the microfarads. You would never even notice that, but it is possible, you know, just worth mentioning. But I thought that'd be pretty cool. Uh, being able to demonstrate making a capacitor uh, just out of two wires and then being able to test it right there and see as you're making it how it becomes a more effective capacitor. If I had really long wire uh, twisted really tightly and then maybe uh, uh, spun up instead of twisted around itself, I could probably get, you know, a couple of hundred picofarads doing it with this method. Thanks for watching.